oh, the, the Cardinals are gone now. The folks in, uh, in St. Louis are going to have nothing but <laughs> memories at this point. The question is now, are they going to get in line for a franchise when the uh, NFL decides to expand? Well, they will probably that. make that decision in March. I don't think they're very sad that they're losing the Cardinals. Either. I think a lot most of them are. Them. I think yeah. a lot of them are. Yeah, they, we'll if they would have had a good team on the field yeah. most of the time, they may have come out and supported them. But fans have got to be fans. They had a bad team, and then they knew the team was going to leave, and they just didn't come out. All right, stay with us. We'll have news on the U.S. defense of the America's Cup after a short time out. Football Cardinals owner Bill Bidwell made it official today, announcing before the NFL's midnight deadline where he intended to move his franchise. And Phoenix, Arizona is the site. If you can blame Bidwell for making that move when you consider that the crowds at Bush Stadium averaged less than 28,000 per game this year, and most everyone's attention focused on the baseball Cardinals in St. Louis, not Bidwell's Big Red. Bidwell made the announcement in New York, and Larry Burnett has more on that story. When the Cardinals played this game against the Giants, they knew it was their last game of the 1987 season, and they had a hint that it might be their last game in St. Louis. They were right. The Cards beat the Giants that day, but now St. Louis has lost a football team. Cards owner Bill Bidwell met for an hour with NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle, then made it official. Well, uh, we made the decision, Phoenix, and we're not going to explain why. More than financial? I think there are a lot of intangibles in, in any decision of this type, and uh, we made the decision. I'm very happy with it, and I'll never second-guess it. Bidwell considered offers from Baltimore, Jacksonville, and Memphis before finally deciding on Phoenix. The move west requires a three-quarter vote of approval from NFL owners, and if it is approved, the Cardinals will be playing their 1988 season in Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona, on the campus of Arizona State University. The team would later have the option to move into a domed stadium, which is proposed for downtown Phoenix. First of all, this is an Arizona team. I think that Mr. Bidwell would want us to express that, that this is going to be all of Arizona. And we want to be sure that every community throughout this great state knows that they're a part of today's efforts, that we want them to participate, to come, to enjoy, and that we all benefit by having the Cardinals here. Some fans might not notice that the Cardinals are gone from St. Louis, since many St. Louisans didn't notice the Cardinals when they were in town. It's ironic that the football Cardinals couldn't draw flies last year, while the St. Louis baseball Cardinals drew more than three million fans during the season, a team record. Of course, the baseball cards went to the World Series, while the football Cardinals, although improved at seven and eight on the year, went nowhere. Now they are going somewhere. Phoenix. Uh, I've enjoyed St. Louis. I've said that over and over and over, but I'm looking forward to going to Phoenix. That's where our football team is. None of this came as a surprise to the NFL or St. Louis. Bidwell announced three years ago that Bush Stadium, the second smallest in the NFL, was no longer adequate to service the Cardinals' needs. He turned down a proposal from St. Louis County for an open-air stadium, which would seat more than 70,000 people. And he wasn't interested in an 11th-hour proposal for a soft roof stadium in downtown St. Louis. His new deal in Phoenix offers 70,000 seats right away, and reportedly $17 million annually in ticket and concession incentives. St. Louis residents didn't always support Bill Bidwell's Cardinals, but Bidwell isn't bitter. They were great fans. I'm going to miss them. And they did support us. And when the team uh, played well, we filled that stadium and went over well over 93, 94% capacity. And, and I can't forget that. I'm very grateful to the fans. They've been very good. And I will bust my tail if they get that building going, wherever it may be. Uh, I'll bust my tail to get an expansion franchise for local ownership in, in St. Louis. So we'll call them the Arizona Cardinals, I guess. Here's a look at the NFL franchise moves since 1960, the year Car the Cardinals moved from Chicago out to St. Louis. Uh, starting at the bottom, you see that one in 61, L.A. Chargers to San Diego. In 63, Dallas Texans to Kansas City. In 81, the Raiders to L.A. Now they might go to Irwindale. And in 84, the Colts snuck, snuck out of Baltimore, rather, and moved over to Indianapolis, Allen. Given the fact the Cardinals were not exactly treated like gods in St. Louis, they are not exactly shedding any tears about their departure from Missouri. In fact, enthusiasm like this about heading west hasn't been seen since gold rush days. Excitement. You know, it, we're all excited. I think the whole team is. Not just the fact that, uh, you know, St. Louis is bad. It's not that the fact at all. The fact is there's something new, uh, a new start for us, and I think our team deserves it. You know, we're, we've been struggling, and it's, it's a good feeling to go someplace where you really want it, and, and nothing against St. Louis again, but... Uh, 
hey, it's just a born again feeling. And I'm, I'm really excited about the change. My first reaction is uh, how does my wife feel? My second one is how the children feel. And I visited with the coaches and told them what I knew about it. And, and uh, I've enjoyed St. Louis. I've said that over and over and over. But I'm looking forward to going to Phoenix. We set out to do a job, and that was to make the playoffs this year. We missed it by one game, as you said. And uh, I would have liked to stay to, uh, to give the fans that playoff game and maybe to continue and, and challenge for the Super Bowl. Uh, it's not going to happen. I don't have any control over it. Uh, you know, we'll have to do it in Phoenix next year. Meanwhile, what of the cities that came up short in the football franchise frenzy? Jacksonville and Baltimore.